a city surrounded by volcanoes. This is Antigua, Guatemala. Renowned for its Spanish architecture, Antigua is a picturesque city that draws in nearly 2 million visitors every year, accounting for over half of Guatemala's total visits. After spending a couple of days here, we can definitely understand why. From historical ruins caused by massive earthquakes, incredible city views, and delicious Guatemalan street food, in this video, we'll bring you with us as we take on Antigua. Good morning from Antigua, Guatemala. We actually got here yesterday at around the late afternoon and it was actually really busy and we found this town to be so beautiful. So we decided to wake up a little bit earlier today. Right now it's about 6.30 in the morning. We're gonna enjoy some of the really beautiful sights, try to have it to ourselves. But as we're walking, we realize how many locals are actually out and about. Super surprised. So yeah, let's go enjoy this day. For one of our first spots this morning, we had to come to the Santa Catalina Arch. It's this beautiful Spanish yellow arch that sits over one of the main avenues here. And it's so stunning because you can see Volcano Agua standing so majestically behind it. Now the reason why it's so iconic is because it's one of the only structures to have survived an earthquake here in Antigua. I'm not too sure what the year was, so I'm gonna add that right in later on. There is so much history here in Antigua and because of the earthquakes, a lot of the structures are now in ruins, including some beautiful convents, monasteries, and churches. We found a really great self-guided walking tour online, which we'll link in the description below, that allows us to explore 10 different ruins in the city in the span of a few hours. Hopefully we can hit up a couple of them because we're a little bit short on time, but we want to start out with La Recolección. This place is honestly so much bigger than we had expected. When we first got to the main sanctuary area, we thought that that was it. But there are multiple courtyards like this. We can see all the ruins, the different chambers. It's almost like a maze. You can just walk through all these different little areas and discover new rooms. We have made it over to Convento de Santa Clara. So a lot of people say online, this is actually their favorite ruins. So we're absolutely excited to explore this area. It is huge though, based on the map, there's a garden, there's ruins, absolutely gorgeous place. I feel like on first impressions, if you could only go to one ruins, I would say come over here to this one. Guys, can we take a second to just admire this insane view here at Convento de Santa Clara? We cannot recommend this spot enough and we honestly don't want to leave just how amazing it is to walk through every single chamber. But we've been walking around all morning. We are so hungry, so it's time to go and grab an authentic Guatemalan lunch.
we came to Rincon Antigueño, which is a really popular restaurant amongst locals and tourists because they serve all local dishes. It has this beautiful courtyard here with tons of lush greenery, and you just order from the counter. We had to try pepian, which is considered the national dish of Guatemala. It's essentially this really rich stew with typically chicken, and it has some veggies in here as well, and then it comes with a side of flavored rice. But we're really excited to try this dish. It's looking so rich right now, and it comes with a daily refresher, which I think is pineapple. Ooh, these tortillas are piping hot. They're straight off the oven that we actually saw at the entrance to the restaurant. See, just look how thick and rich this is. I think Pepian is by far one of the best dishes that we've ever had in Central America. Just from my first taste right here. Right over here to my right, you have Central Park. And a lot of people consider this to be the center of Antigua. It's a great place for you to come and chill, relax, people watch a little bit, and of course, get ice cream. If you go to the different corners of the park, you see a lot of people with these tiny little trucks, and in there they have ice cream, and that is where we're gonna go and grab some. Hola! Buenas! Buenas! Que, que sabor es de helado tiene? We honestly just had to get the ice cream because the little trucks were so cute. But you could probably get better ice cream anywhere else. It's not really ice cream, it's more like frozen ice with a mango flavor and a little bit of vanilla ice cream mixed in there, and then it's chopped with strawberry. It's already melting so much, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this. The view up here is honestly amazing. It's packed with people. They got a DJ spinning some good tracks. The view here, you can see the volcano. You can see the different churches. I can obviously see why this is like one of the most popular rooftops. But of course, the main feature here is going to be the craft room. We're going to see downstairs the whole concoction. So I feel like the beers are going to be spectacular. came back to the arch after sunset and it is so lively here there's actually an art exhibit going on right over there we think it's for Easter we're not a hundred percent sure and they actually close off this street from cars so it's pedestrian only and it's so nice to walk around you can see a whole bunch of different restaurants bars all the kind of stuff it's a great time to spend here at night After beers, we definitely needed to get some food on us. So we came to the church that we were at this morning, La Iglesia de la Merced, and the entire area turned into a street food market. We saw this and we wanted to try it. It's a tostada topped with salad, beets, some beef, cilantro, eggs, and a really good looking salsa. And it looks really delicious. This was only 15 quinsales. and very flavorful. There's also guacamole right on the bottom. For our next little stop on our food adventure, we got these massive sandwiches. They're stuffed with different varieties of meat. You got a salad, guacamole, some sort of pink sauce that they tossed on top, which I have no idea what that is. But yeah, cheers. It's so nicely toasted, and the vegetables give it such a great crunch. However, only issue though is that the amount of meat is a little bit lackluster, but the flavors are really good, especially with that sweetness from the guacamole. After all that delicious food, it is time for us to end the day here, but tomorrow we're gonna explore more of Antigua, as well as show you guys some more food spots.
Hello guys, it's morning. We went to the Union Tank, which is such a great photo spot because we could see the volcanoes reflecting against the water. But after that, we came back to rest up because today we really wanted to take it easy since tomorrow we're gonna to be doing the Akatanango hike. It's really strenuous. So we really wanted to rest up today. Right now we're gonna be hitting up a lunch spot, hopefully later grab some coffee in the afternoon. And then we're gonna end our day at a really gorgeous viewpoint overlooking the city. We came to Hector's Bistro, which is a place that specializes in sandwiches, and it's honestly a really great spot to enjoy lunch because it's such a beautiful area. But we got a couple of sandwiches here, and I got the Fit Chompy and Cheese. Honestly, the picture on the menu looked a lot better than what it looks like in real life, but it is so filled with meat. It's actually a turkey meat. There's some cheese, there's veggie. That's all I can really ask for in a sandwich. But to be honest, it's very much like deli sandwich style. I was hoping it would be a lot warmer on the inside, but it's really cool. Like none of this is like toasted just right, but the sauce is really good. The cheese is great. So the sandwich I got is a little bit more elevated. It's called the Don Corleone, And based on the name as it implies, it is an Italian sandwich. Italian meats in a baguette. You got some arugula and you got some sort of a sauce in there as well. They also give you a dipping sauce. So I'm gonna try that first. It's gonna, as Lauren mentioned, it is cold on the inside. This sauce though is actually really nice. It's a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. Has a little bit of kick into the sandwich. But yeah, I think mine is definitely better than Lauren's. I'll give this a seven out of 10. I really like the pastel colors of those tins right in front of me. Definitely my vibe. This time we're gonna get up high, get some aerial views overlooking the city. And how we're gonna do that is by going to Cerro de la Cruz, which means Hill of the Cross. It takes about 20 minutes to get up there from town and it's gonna be a few steps. If you don't wanna do that, you can take an Uber there or a tuk-tuk tricycle taxi. It's definitely good that they actually built a road so you can take a car up there because there are 333 steps. So it is a little bit of a trek, a great little workout before we catch sunset up above. The view up here is honestly super nice. It is a little bit hazy, which I think just has to do with it being dry season and there's absolutely no rain to get rid of it. But this hazy gives it almost this like dreamy effect. You can see the volcano is popping out so beautifully just over this entire city. And I think this is just the best way to end our time in Antigua. Mm -hmm. 